CSV Connector provides a powerful alternative for customers who want to connect Excelsius or SAP Crystal dashboard design to data without relying on web services. Upon installing CSV Connector, it's made available instantly inside of the Data Manager. And when you add CSV Connector, the very first thing that you'll do is define a URL for where the CSV file is located. In this case, we've placed a CSV file on the Sendagon Solutions website, but you could just as easily load CSV data from your local machine. As you start learning how to use CSV Connector, we have a great resource available to you by clicking on this help icon where you can see exactly what is required for every potential deployment combination of your Excelsius Swift and the CSV file. We heavily recommend that you look through this to make sure that you have a deployment that is compatible. After defining the CSV file URL, you can instantly preview what this data will look like as if it were to be loaded into your dashboard. In this case, we have sales data by region, where we have 3,000 rows of data by eight columns. Within this preview window, you could click on the copy to clipboard and paste it right into your Excel model, allowing you to mock up charts or tables during the development process. Going back to the definition tab, the next thing that you define is your data destination. This will be the location in your Excelsius model where you'll place the data once it's loaded from CSV Connector. We had eight columns of data, so we'll bind the data within our model. CSV Connector allows you to refine the data that you bring back before it's loaded into the Excel model. You can either restrict by columns or rows. So if we wanted the first three columns, I could set my start column index to one and my end column index to three. So if we go back, if we go back to the preview tab, I can now bring back only three columns. And we can also set filter columns. Filter columns will allow you to identify for each column a filter to restrict the data that is returned. So if we click on the filter column property and select this, the eight columns of data, I can now go back into my Excel model and define filters. So if we only want to bring back the data, I can go back to preview, re-preview the data, and now I'll only get 750 rows of data for North. CSV Connector not only allows you to filter data, but also aggregate on the fly. Borrowed from the filtered summary component in the Sendagon Solutions portfolio, you have two properties to aggregate data on the fly, your column calculation index and your column calculations. Detailed instructions for using these properties are located in the help icons. The first thing that we'll define is our column calculation index. This index will tell CSV Connector which column to aggregate the data by. So in our case, we want to aggregate the data by column one. Now we need to tell CSV Connector what calculations we want to apply to each column of data within our CSV file. So we'll bind one cell per column for our CSV file and use predetermined calculation values that we've assigned for CSV Connector. These calculation values are one for list, two for count, three for sum, and four for average. As I mentioned before, the details for this are located in the help file. When we go back to our preview tab, it will provide us with an exact representation of what the data would look like before it's loaded into your Excelsius model. So for troubleshooting purposes, this is a huge time saver. For example, we can see that we are only able to view the north record. This tells me that my filter is restricting the data more than we want. So if I go back to our filter, change it from north to all, I can either use an asterisk or leave it blank, which will tell CSV Connector to return all values. Now when I preview the data, not only do I get my aggregate regions, I also get my header row. Maybe we want to remove the header, so I can go back to my definition and change my start row index from 1 to 2. So now my data that I return to my dashboard is exactly what I want. Once we have our CSV connector configured the way we want, I can go to my usage tab and set the CSV trigger options. In our case, we want the CSV connector to bring back the data on load, and that's good enough. 
a nice thing about CSV connector is it will automatically refresh whenever the filter columns change or the aggregation index or aggregation calculations change. So you don't have to manually configure these trigger options. To view more tutorials and templates for CSV connector and to learn how to use the new export capabilities for CSV connector, you can simply go to the information tab and go to the tutorials where you can view all of the help videos and tutorials for CSV connector or navigate to templates where you can download free templates to help you get started.